What's up guys, Deceiver here, back for another episode of Let's Learn a Combo. So today we're going to be talking about Sub-Zero. Now this is going to be the most basic bread and butter combo that you'll be able to do in online matches when you actually get there and start playing. So let's take a look at what the basic moves are going to be that connect this combo. So the first move is going to be back 3-2. Now this starts with a low, that's the reason I chose this one. And you can also start this combo out with uh, back 1-4. And you can also start the combo out with, um, let's see, 1-2 one, two, or 2-1. Two, so you can start out the combo in many different ways, but I chose this one just because it's a low. So back 3-2, and then you're going to back 3-2 into Ice Ball. Now when you cancel into Ice Ball, they're going to be obviously stunned for a while so as you can see I can do a lot before even starting the combo um, so back 3-2 and then it's gonna be the rest of this now this is a very very easy combo so the next string that you're gonna use after they're frozen is back 1-4-3 now this move is gonna be something that you're gonna wanna use a lot in uh, when you're playing footsies anyway because look how long the range is on this you can connect a lot of combos and a lot of stuff off of this. So as you're playing with them, this is going to be a move that you want to keep in mind as well. So practice this move over and over. Because it's a little bit wonky at first. It just kind of feels weird. But other than that, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And then after that move, you're going to go into your amplified slide. Now keep in mind that your amplified slide, once you get it three times it'll go into a crushing blow. So if you do this move on your th or this combo on your third time doing the amplified slide, you're going to get your crushing blow and it's going to be insane uh, damage. Let's see how much damage it actually causes with the cu crushing blow. Let's see if I can not mess this up. Three hundred and forty-seven damage. That's quite a bit with the crushing blow. Now it doesn't do that much without the crushing blow. It's uh, I think it's like two hundred and thirty, two hundred and fifty damage. But you can add some jump ins uh, to make it a little bit better. Uh, you can do some things to make the damage a little bit better on this move. So if you start it off with, uh, well that won't work. Yeah, two hundred and thirty-three damage. So there's some other things that you can do to make it better. Um, there's not a whole lot to go into depth about this combo because it's one of the more easy combos in the game to do. And that's what I wanted to do with this series is kind of give you guys a uh, combo that will be good for starting off with a character. Now uh, for beginners this is going to be you know learning uh, one bread and butter combo but even for newer or not newer players but seasoned players if you've never played a character before this gives you a bread and butter combo to start off with now I'm gonna show you guys a simple little corner combo that you can do as well that will give you a ton of damage and a crushing blow at the end now this move that Sub-Zero has if you get an 8 hit combo then you get a crushing blow with it so I'm gonna show you guys this this combo only works with the variation that has rising ice which is this move and you're going to want to amplify it. So we're going to do uh, down three, um, down three, two, just like this. And then we're going to go into this amplified. And then we're just going to tap them a couple times. And then we're going to do um, one, two, four. This is one, two, four right here. And if you guys prefer for me to make a guide uh, explaining the button layouts of fighting games, like what's one, two, three, and four, which buttons are which, uh, because it's not that obvious. Uh, going around a PlayStation controller, you would think that square would be one, triangle would be two, uh, circle would be three, and X would be four, but it's actually uh, X is three and circle is four. So yeah, that's a, there's a quick little explanation. If you guys want a separate video with like a controller displayed on the screen uh, showing this, then I can do that real quick. It's, that wouldn't take much time at all. But here's the uh, corner combo that I came up with that'll give you that crushing blow, and I think it's like 360 damage. Oh well, or there's me messing it up.
So there you go. 381 damage, actually, and it's very easy. Ah, see, I can do it over and over when I'm not, you know, being a scrub. So if you guys are new at corner combos, I would recommend actually uh, learning this combo first because it's that easy. Yeah, see, I can do it pretty consistently now. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage without the crushing blow, but when you have the crushing blow, it's actually really, really easy. Easy damage right there. And uh, there are mid-screen ways of getting that crushing blow, but it's much, much harder to do. I haven't even learned um, how to do those mid-screen combos yet because it involves a lot of dashing and uh, jump-in kicks that have to be in this, this correct place to actually do it. So, yeah. Um, actually, that's another thing I wanted to make a video on is uh, how to do these jump-in into special move uh, combo stuff. Cabal basically has... A jump in into his nomad dash that he can just convert into a complete combo off of so yeah I kind of wanted to make a video on that too but for now this is the first character guide to give you guys a full combo that you guys can do this combo can even be done in the corner so easy easy so all you guys got to do is just practice uh, practice doing the strings one at a time if you guys are having trouble with uh, hitting combos Go back to one of my very first combo video that teaches you guys how to actually do combos and how to learn combos. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, what you have to do. Just kind of just practice the strings over and over and over. But yeah, that's Sub Zero. Sub Zero is one of the easier ones to do his bread and butter combos with, and he gets a little bit harder once you want to do his other combos, which are complicated. So <laughs> I'm not even going to try and demonstrate them right now, but if you guys want a complete guide on Sub-Zero with a bunch more combos and I will learn them for you guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will be doing a video like this for every single character in the game for at least one combo for every single character in the game. Yes, even Noob. And if you guys want some more in-depth combos, like I said, I can do that as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next Let's Learn a Combo video. Peace.